Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Earlier this week, we broke a record, of course, topping out at 47 degrees on Monday. And that, well, that broke a very long standing record that was almost 100 years old. And now today, it's becoming increasingly likely, we'll just put it that way, uh, to break yet another record that was set back in the early 1950s, 1952 to be specific, as we've had plenty of sunshine. We've had these winds out of the southwest, and we don't have that snowpack that will influence our temperatures near the surface. So all of these factors put together, well, they've just made for a beautiful January afternoon that we have on tap. The sunshine expected to continue through the rest of the afternoon and even into the day tomorrow, as we'll have just a few intervals of clouds along the way with a weak front moving through. That won't exactly cool us off too, too much, but may not... Uh, see too many more records getting broken uh, over the next couple of days. But today, again, certainly our best chance as we'll have, again, the sunshine to take us through the afternoon, likely topping out near 50 degrees. Mind you, that record for today uh, is 47 degrees. We're only a degree shy of that right now. But La Crosse also has a chance at breaking a record. Forecast to get to 50 degrees, but if the temperatures overachieve just a little bit, could break that record that was set back in 1989 of 52 degrees. There's a look at our Nicolet Bank Skycam overlooking Hastings Way. Nothing but blue skies after we did have a little bit of cloud cover through the overnight that actually helped keep us on the milder side throughout the morning. But again, we are one degree shy of that record currently. Of course, we have plenty of daylight to go with that sunset just before quarter after five. Winds a little breezy out of the southwest, 12 miles per hour in Eau Claire. Look towards our west, however, that's where we have temperatures that are already near 50. 48 degrees in Ellsworth, 47 in Menominee. Meanwhile, down in La Crosse, a little on the cooler side, 43 degrees in Viroqua. Well, they've had a little more cloud cover, currently sitting at 36 degrees. And again, we do have these winds that are primarily out of the southwest. A lot of us have a bit of a breeze to start us off, mostly 5 to 15 miles per hour. And again, there's a look at the satellite and radar. Once that cloud cover worked its way out, for the most part, of course, we've had nothing but blue sky. Looking at Skycast going forward, May have some low-level moisture working its way in later on tonight. And as the winds start to relax, this could lead to the development of some patchy fog going into tomorrow morning. That's what looks like all of this cloud cover going forward on SkyCast. But looking ahead through tomorrow afternoon, some of that low-level moisture may hang around. But I do think that we'll have intervals of sunshine and a few passing clouds from time to time. And then looking ahead to Friday, a bit more of the same. We'll have a few intervals of clouds and some peaks of sunshine, but a lot more widespread sunshine to take us through the afternoon and into the evening. A lot of us expect to reach the low 50s or at least the upper 40s going into the afternoon. So records around the area could be broken. It's very rare that we hit 50 degrees in January. Only have done it a handful of times. But otherwise, later on tonight, dipping to the upper 20s and low 30s, much like we've seen in some recent mornings. Otherwise, a, a look at the next couple of days in La Crosse. Again, record warmth possible for today. Pulling back on the temperatures very slightly going into the end of the work week. But for the most part, again, things are staying well above average. That'll be the case going into the weekend and that first full week of February as highs remain in the very mild low to mid 40s and overnight lows in the upper 20s. Now for a Sunshine Award, Jenna Glass likes to nominate the Marshfield Clinic Pharmacy and Anna Lee Teese and says... There aren't any nicer people. She even offered to drop off a prescription at my house. Who does that in this day and age? And even on their way home. Now, if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com. I think Darren said yesterday that we ha didn't even hit 50 last year until April, if that's not Yep. Yeah. Well, we correct. also had uh, quite a bit of a snowpack, of course, that influenced those temperatures. It's kind of amazing what that snowpack can do, but... When you don't have much of one, this is what you get. Plenty of sunshine and possibly some record-breaking temps. Actually, yes. today, likely, I would say. All right. Thanks, Mike.